Hello, Ramona. How are you? Wow. I haven't seen you in a while. Come on, everybody. Talk to me. I pray that everybody is doing good. I pray that you're having a great evening. Come on, Sharitha. How are you on today? You all step on in because I, I got some work to do. I have some work to do. I want to pray. I want to believe God with you. Brother Daniels, right here in Atlanta, right? You in Atlanta. How you doing, Mother Evelyn? How you doing? You called me today. Don't worry. I'm going to call you back. Just had so much going on today. So much. Jeremiah, man, where you been? Where you been? <laughs> I know you've been, I know you've been just cuddling and caressing and kissing all on that beautiful little girl. Well, give her an extra kiss for me. Okay? That's from me, not from you. It's from me. All right. Tell her her, her new pastor love her so much. Will you do that for me? Everybody, I pray that things are going good. Are you excited? Come on, are you are you ready for what God has for you on tonight? And you know what, what I want to talk about is uh, I want to pray against the spirit of fear. And so I uh, tonight I want to, maybe I guess I want to interact just a little bit with some of you and ask you, what is your greatest fear? What is your greatest fear? What is your greatest fear? But we want to come against the spirit of fear on tonight. I just know that you cannot really achieve the good things that you desire with the spirit of fear. We got to combat that spirit. We got to get rid of it. Why you, you know, the Bible even speaks about those that will be in hell will be the fearful. You know, can you imagine somebody saying, you know, there's a big a posse of people. And they say, what you in hell for? I'm, I'm in hell for killing somebody. What you in here for? I, I, I'm in here for, I, I, I blew up the building. Well, what you in here for? Well, I, I, I beat this person up so bad and I just, I made them cry. I mean, I broke their jaw. What you in here for? I was just scared. <laughs> oh, can you imagine? You in here just because you were scared. Listen, can somebody write this? Don't go to hell because of fear. Can somebody write that for me? Don't go to hell because of fear. Doesn't that make sense, Brother Jeremiah? You do not want to be afraid. I'm just scared. And the Bible did speak about the fearful shall open a land in hell. You do not want to go to hell because you are just afraid. Did you hear me? I don't want to go to hell because I'm afraid. I, I don't want to go to hell, period. But I'm on my way to heaven because I'm not afraid. God has not given us the spirit of fear. Don't go to hell because you're afraid. Did that make sense? Don't do that. Don't do that. Sharitha, don't do that. Don't go to hell because you're afraid. Uh-uh. No, you better you better tell the devil, hell no. <laughs> you better tell the devil, hell no. Mm -mm. I ain't afraid of you. Come on, Cletus. Come on, we could do this. I am not going to hell because I'm afraid. I'm going to trust in the almighty power of the Lord. So tonight, I want you to get ready. I want to pray. You know what? There's a scripture in the Bible that Jesus uh, told the disciples to go on ahead. I, I believe I don't know, I'm in Matthew, the 14th chapter, really. And, and just let me paraphrase. He told them to go ahead get in the boat and, and I'll catch up with y'all later. Y'all go on the other side of the, 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 the lake and I'm going to catch up with you a little bit later now, okay? So y'all go on, do your thing. And so in the midnight hours, or four day in the morning, as my grandmama used to say, Jesus came approaching them while they was on the boat. Now, I ain't gonna lie. Have you anybody ever been on the water at night I remember one time I was traveling and I had a, ho a hotel that was on the on the beach. And uh, when you looked out on, I had like, I don't know if it was a, something like a little cabin or something, but when you looked out at night, it was just pitch black. I mean, pitch black. Y'all hear me? You couldn't see your hand in front of your face. So it was, anybody ever had that, uh, uh, you know, it's just black. You understand about that, Jeremiah? And I, you know, so I'm not going to lie. If I was on the water at night and I see something <laughs> coming across that water and it looked like it's walking, 
I would probably freak out. Anybody remember that song? Oh, freak out. I would have did that. Give me a heart if you understand that. Give, give me a heart if you can understand what I'm saying. Give me a heart if you can really understand that. Now, I know some of you, you know the scriptures, so you're like, I ain't afraid. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. No, I ain't going to say that, brother. I, Sharitha, I ain't going to say that. If I was in a pitch black, they didn't have the lights like we have. They didn't have, you know, electricity like we have. No, it's black as tar. And you got mosquitoes and everything, and, and it's dark. And you see something walking across, and they thought, honestly, they thought it was a spirit. They thought it was a ghost. Now, some of y'all so holy, y'all think y'all don't believe in no ghosts. I ain't you. I, I can only be real. Somebody just say, be real about it. Can somebody write that? Be real about it. it would anybody else be, be afraid? Now, Mother Evelyn, I promise you, I would, I'm a big dude, but I would be shaken. Because I'm like, I, 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 what? I'd be like, what is that? Who is that? You know? I, yeah. I, <laughs> I probably would, be honest, I would probably say, what the hell? <laughs> I really would. Let me just tell the truth. I would. Let me just tell the truth. What the hell is that? Who? And so listen at what happened. And if anybody's going to be real with me, anybody going to be real with me, can I get another heart from a real person to understand what I'm saying? Are you feeling me? Anybody feeling me on the night? And so, uh, uh, and, and, and so Jesus told them, go, but the verse 25 now, um, of verse 24, but the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with waves, for the wind was contrary. Now, already we got wind and the, the waves, are, you know, splashing against the boat, so it's dark. And here we go. And in the fourth watch of the night, in the fourth watch of the night, now that's telling you it's at night. Now, number one, I am not that annoyed. I, ain't, I wouldn't be fishing at no nighttime. You know, now I'm the only one. Sometimes, let me make sure who anybody in here. Sometimes, even in my house, before I walk in the room, I cut on the light. <laughs> Sometimes I want to make sure anybody in here, you know, I want to make, I cut that light on. Now, I do believe in spirits. I really do. And there have been times that I've seen spirits. I really have. So sometimes I cut on that light, you know, let me just make sure, I'll, I'll, you know, be sure. But here we are in the fourth watch of the night. And Jesus went unto them walking on the sea. Child, that's all I need. My hair would have grew back on my head and it would have grew back pearly white because I would have been scared to death. Am I, am any, anybody, anybody feel me? Jeremiah, you feel me? Sharitha, do you feel me what I'm saying? Now, I know my church folk go say, I wouldn't be scared, hallelujah. He call a la la la, you know, but I'm, I eat call a la la too, but I would be scared. <laughs> now, when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled. I would have been right along with them. They were troubled saying, it's a spirit. As a spirit, child, I would have been grabbing. I, if that was a Bible anywhere, I'd be, precious Lord, take my hand, lead me on. You know, I would have been freaking out. Who is it? Oh, Lord Jesus, every Lord, I don't know, Lord, forgive me for everything I've done, everything, whoever I did to, Lord Jesus, I, I, I would have been freaking out. I really would have. And they cried out for fear. And I believe what they were saying, who are you? Because they were scared. They cried out for fear. They were crying because of their fear. They addressed this entity or this energy because they were afraid. It wasn't that they were so holy. They already knew Jesus. They already been worshiping and, and, and spending time with him. But they, you know, now keep it real now. This is at night. Again, have anybody ever been on the water at night when it is pitch black because there's no, no light? So at nighttime, the water becomes very dark. 
uh, 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 hey, hey, uh, uh, hey, Cheryl, how you doing? Cheryl, Sheriff. You know, I would have been freaking out. So they cried out for fear. Have anybody ever been afraid? Let's just stop for a moment. Have you ever been afraid? Just somebody can, and I know it sounds like a, you know, maybe a rhetorical question or a silly question, but can somebody say, yes, I have been afraid? And the reason why I'm asking you to admit to it, because it will help somebody else to say, you know what? Yeah, I've been afraid. I, and so you bet you have been. I know we all have, but sometimes we just want, don't want to acknowledge it. I have been afraid. Sharifa, I have been afraid. I'm very serious. I have been terrified. I have been afraid. I've been afraid of dying one time. I was afraid of losing, uh, losing my house. I was afraid of, of, of other people's ideas of me. I was afraid, even sometimes afraid to tell the truth. And I'll be honest, I was even afraid to obey God, to obey God. Have anybody ever been afraid I have been afraid, afraid to marry, afraid to divorce, afraid to have children. Yes, I have. I was afraid. What if I'm not good at it? What if, what if, what if this don't work? What if, I, uh, 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 what if the car break down? I remember in Texas, there's a ship channel. Now, my mother used to always be afraid of the ship channel, and I adopted that from her. It's a very, very high bridge. And so you're going across that high bridge, I, I was afraid. I, I do like my mother did. I cut the radio off, <laughs> cut everything off, and I'm glued to the steering wheel saying, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> I have been afraid the plane go through turbulence and rocket. I have been afraid. I just, Lord, if I'm going down, don't let me feel no pain. If you go take me, just take me. <laughs> but I've been afraid. They cried out for fear because they thought it was a spirit. Some of you, you, you may think a spirit is in your home or you, you really, and some of us like me, you may see spirits. You may really see spirits. You may really see them. I do. You may, I thought I could have sworn I saw my mother. I could have sworn I saw, but they did. I know, you know, so I come to, they cried because they thought, now again, I'm painting the picture and I'm being realistic and I'm being repetitive for a reason. It is pitch black. They are on the water without any electricity. Even if they had a lantern, the lantern can only light up so much. So now I am afraid. I am afraid. And they see this entity coming across, walking on water. Come, you know, it's like, doo, doo, doo. can you imagine the gown flowing and it feels like electricity? And then maybe they don't, uh, maybe they don't even see it lit up. You know, I would think it'd be like touched by an angel. They light up. No, they see another entity. It's dark already. So you see something that's also dark coming across that water. Anybody getting the picture? Give me a thumb if you get in the picture. Give me, give me one of them thumbs. It's already dark. And you see something that's also dark coming across that water. And you're like, what? What the hell is that? You know, anybody understand? I, 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 I've been, I'm just being real about it, okay? Don't judge me, but I am being real. I would have really, like, and it's dark. Can, are you understanding me? Sharitha, are you understanding what I'm saying? It's dark. And you see some dark coming across that water. And you like, the first of all, where it come from? Number two, who is it? Or first of all, what is it? <laughs> is it coming to kill us? Is it a ghost? Is it, is it a monster? Is it a sea monster? Is it Bigfoot? What? Who? <laughs> So now your nerves are all up in the air. You're all in knots. You're thinking you're about to die. You think it's something is up that you've never seen before. You'd be terrified. But straightway Jesus spoke unto them. He said, be of good cheer. It is I. Be not afraid. Now, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I would have probably said, yeah, right. <laughs> Jesus, you should as you. How did you get? Ain't no Jesus, y'all. That ain't no Jesus. Who, who, who's had that? 
If you Jesus, what's your mama name? <laughs> what, 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 what's your daddy name? Who, what we have for lunch today? You know, and so what did what did Peter say? Peter said, and his bold said, thank God for Peter. Peter said, okay, Lord, if it be you, you bid me to come so I can do the same thing. If it be you, you tell me to come on. I, I, because you know what? I need you to prove yourself. Have anybody ever needed God to prove himself to you? Don't feel bad. I did. I did. Have anybody, can again, can we just testify for a moment? Can somebody write that? I, I have needed God to prove himself to me. Ramona, have you ever needed God to prove himself to you? Now, don't get, that doesn't mean you don't, you're not saved. That just means, God, I never experienced nothing like this before. So, I need you to prove yourself to me. Is this really you? Is this really you? Because right now I'm 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 a bit scared. I ain't gonna lie about that thing. I'm 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 scared. I may lose all my money. I'm scared. I may lose my job. I am scared. I'm I'm I, I may lose everything. I may lose my mind. I'm scared. I, you know, if I get married again, so this, this person may try to control me and steal all my money. And you know, I'm scared. Uh, uh, this person may come and molest my children. I'm I'm scared. I'm being honest about that thing now. If it you, if it if it's you, God, if it's you, how you doing, Sheree? If it's you. Tell me to come on. Tell me to come on. And Jesus said, come on, come. All right. Now, first of all, if I was Peter, I probably said, dang, I should have asked for something else. I should have said, if it was you, Lord, give me a million dollars or something. <laughs> but Peter said, tell me to come on. So Peter, now he got to follow through now. Peter was stepping out of the boat. And guess what? Guess what happened? He started walking on the water, walking towards Jesus. Now, both of them are dark. <laughs> they, they both, little dark entities walking. And he started walking on the water. What? You know, I really would have, and you, now I would have been tripping for real. Now, don't y'all judge me, but I'm just telling you the story. I'm only telling it from my perspective. I would have now if I was in the boat, if I wasn't Peter, I'd be like, man, you see this? What what was in that food we ate? Are we tripping? Are we on some weed? Did he did somebody put some weed? Did, did somebody did somebody put in the seventies they called it Mary Jane? Did somebody put some Mary Jane or some stuff in this water? What what the, did, is that is he really walking on the walk? So you got two of what man? I ain't fooling with this water no more. Y'all gonna take that water. <laughs> Can I get another thumb? Anybody understand what I'm saying? I would have thought I was tripping. I would have thought, man, I think I need some more Tylenol or something. Lord, I promise you get me back on this land, I won't take another swig of, 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 of Hennessy no more because right now I'm tripping. Can you imagine that, y'all? Everybody else on the boat, Ma, you see that, man? You see, am I tripping, man? I don't want to say nothing, but I see it too. So I ain't tripping, man. I don't know, man. We was all we was all drinking that water, so I don't know. You know, everybody probably bumping each other. Do you see this? This is some strange stuff. <laughs> anybody with me? Anybody? Can anybody? Are you with me, Sharif? Are you understanding what I'm saying? In the boat, they probably tripping. And Peter is walking on the water. He, he probably like. I don't believe this. I don't believe it. I'm doing this. I'm doing this. And Jesus walking like, come on, <laughs> come on. Well, we got to remember the wind is still turbulent and it was still going against the ship. That's what it started before. It was already going. The wind was already causing the water to splash. So now it got Peter's attention. And so the Bible said, but when he, Peter, saw the wind boisterous and getting more and more uh, um, uh, active, he was afraid and began to sink. He began to sink and he cried. He hollered, Lord, save me. You know, first of all, if you said it was you, you said you told me to come. Now, save me. <laughs> Help me. Help me. 
We used to sing a song in church. Help me, help me, Lord, help me, help me, Lord. I need your help. Help me, Lord, I need your help. Right, right now, I need you to help me. So let me finish this. And immediately, Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him. He caught him and he said unto him, oh, thy little faith. <laughs> I believe Jesus, y'all, now y'all may not like me, but I just really believe Jesus kind of chuckled. I really, oh, you a little faith. <laughs> I just believe he probably laughed at it. You know, I just believe that was a humorous time for him. Look at you, Peter. Look at you. Man, why did you doubt? Why did you allow fear to block it? Man, you was already walking on the water. Now, look at it. He did have enough faith to get on the water and start walking, but then he let his faith go. Can I ask you a question? Have you ever allowed your faith to go? Have you ever allowed your faith to go because of fear? Can somebody write that question for me? Have you allowed your faith to go because of fear? Hmm? Have you allowed, have you allowed your faith to go because of fear? I'm just curious. You were doing good, but you got afraid and you're like, you let your faith go and you were afraid. I don't believe that God is mad at you. I believe he was just kind of chuckled at you because he knew now, do you know? Sister Pam, do you know this, that God knows your future? That's why I don't believe he was upset with Peter. I just believe he was chuckling because, you know, Peter, I got a work for you to do. And in order for you to do this work, you are going to have to know about faith. In order for you to do what I am asking you to do, you're going to have to know how to believe me. You're going to have to know how to really trust me and the things that I say for you to do. You're going to have to really know, have you ever just allowed your faith to go? Does that make sense? Have you allowed your faith to go because of fear? Thank you, Sister Chatham. Have you just, well, because eh, I saw this issue, I saw the foreclosed notice, or I saw how difficult this may be. And you allowed your faith to go because of fear. Can I be honest for a moment? I have. I have. I allowed my faith to go because of fear. Some things in my life I didn't follow through because I was just afraid. I'm trembling. Oh, now I've done things a lot because of my faith, but there were some things I just let my, mm, I let my faith go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God, I don't know about this one. Michael, you can do it. I don't know, Lord. Michael, you can do it. I don't know. I, don't, I, don't, I know you know. Lord, you, you, you know all things, but I don't know. I'm not sure. So God, I'm a bit nervous right now. I don't know. Am, am, am I making sense to anybody? Am I, am I making sense to anybody? Have you allowed your faith to go because of fear? So what are you saying, Dr. Moses? That God has not given us the spirit of fear. That's a test of the enemy. That's a test by the tester to see, can we really trust God? Can we really trust ourselves? Can we really believe in ourselves? Can we yet be committed to what it is that we want from God? Have you allowed your faith to go because of uh, you're afraid of divorce? You're afraid of, of other people lying on you? You're afraid even to love? 
You're afraid. Some people, I don't want, I, I'm not looking for marriage no more. Why? Because I'm afraid that somebody may trick me. I'm afraid I may get an STD. I'm afraid that that I, 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 I they may beat me up. They may take all my money. They may molest my children. I, I, I don't know. I ain't going for that love thing no more. I'm I'm afraid. I'm afraid of, of, of buying a home because what if I can't maintain it and I got to file bankruptcy and I got to file chapter 13 or whatever it is. I, I'm, I'm just, and I don't want to go through all that headache. I don't, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I'm, I'm afraid to, to, to go over here. I'm afraid to go. I'm afraid to go to the family reunion. I'm afraid because I was in jail and I don't want nobody bringing up my past and I did this and I don't want nobody talking about me. I'm, I was afraid. Or I am afraid. Am I making sense, Sister Chatham? Is this making sense to anybody? God have not given you the spirit of fear. And so right now he's looking at you and said, now listen, now why did you give up on your dream? Why did you throw away the faith that you had in getting your home? Why did you throw away the faith that you had for your vision? Why did you throw away the faith that you had to, to open up this restaurant? Why did you throw away the faith that you had about marriage? about life, about love? Why did you throw away that faith? I understand that you were afraid. You, but you got to remember, now later on in the story, you got to remember who he left the church into the hands of, Peter. He, even, he stayed on Peter. Peter, the devil is going to sift you as wheat. But I, 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 I come to tell you, when you are converted, because I know what I put in you, I'm not worried about if you go come back to your senses. I'm telling you, you go come back because I know how you are. I know, I know your personality. I know your characteristics. So Peter, don't ever let go of your faith because of fear. So really, this was a lesson that Peter needed to learn. Don't let go of your faith because of your fear. Some of you, I don't know how to really say it. We, you could say that you are daredevil. You know, that was daring for Peter to get out of that boat. And the water is going everywhere. And Peter got out the boat and said, hey, okay, I'm going to trust God. That was a lot of faith. Some of you are made like that. Sister Chatham, Mother Evelyn, you created with a lot of faith. Sister Pam, you created with a lot of faith. Don't let it go. I don't care what you see. The, the water and the waves are just going crazy. But stay focused on your faith. If you did it before, like walking on the water, you can do it again. Don't give up on faith and, you know, riding the bicycle. You may have failed. You may have fallen a couple of times, but you get back up and you get on that thing, right? A lot of us have had car accidents before. That don't mean we're going to stop driving. Don't give up on your faith because of fear. Don't stop loving because of a divorce. I had one. Don't stop, uh, don't stop trusting people because your best friend lied on you. Don't stop. Don't stop going to church because, you know, people in the church are gossiping about you. Don't, don't even quit going to church because the pastor had an affair. Okay, he or she is human. Don't quit going to church because of, of, of you know, some money was misappropriated. No, come on. God is still good. God is still loving. And you know what? God is still forgiving. I, I felt that one in my spirit. Can somebody write that for me? God is still Feel forgiving. I had to write it in my notes here. God is still forgiving. I don't see why he's still using the Bishop so and so. Because Bishop Watermelon, he cheated. I don't understand that. Why? Why? I don't understand how to God. Because God is still forgiving. God is still loving. And I want to say thank you, God, for doing that because he looked, sure did look beyond my faults and he saw my needs. And not only did he see my needs, everybody, because I hear him saying this in my ear, God saw, he saw my value. I feel that one. 
God not only, I have to write this in my notes, looked beyond my faults, but and saw my needs, he saw my value. He saw my value. Does that make sense to anybody? He looked beyond my needs, but he also saw my value. And I'm grateful. He saw, you know, although Michael Mosley could make some errors and do some strange stuff, but I still want him on my team. I still want Michael Mosley. I still want him to be a prophet. I still want him to teach. I still want him in the army of the Lord. Does that make sense to anybody? Thank you, Father, that you still want me. So ladies and gentlemen, I want to pray against fear tonight. I want to pray against fear. Now, those of you that don't mind, can you, can somebody just, maybe let's pray right now. What, what have, what, what is your fear tonight? Anybody that have a fear tonight? What is your fear? Maybe you have a fear of being broke. Maybe you have a fear of not being good enough. Now, this may be a little touchy, but just write what you can. Because believe it or not, I, I did, Jeremiah, can I be transparent a little bit? Uh, I was married before and I had four children uh, and I'm grateful. Well, three from my wife and had a relationship, had a, a, a beautiful girl from that relationship, from a second relationship. And then by the time I met Lady Amelia, she didn't have any children. Do you know I had a fear in my mind about, okay, now if I, in a sense, start over, whoo, am I going to be able to keep up with my children? Can I really keep up with little ones and, you know, running all over the house? Will I really be a good daddy? Even I had a fear of marrying a lady in the because she's a little bit younger than I am. Oh, Lord, can I, oh, will this, be, will this work out? Where are my hearts? Now, I need a few hearts. I need a few hearts. Somebody back me up. Say, go on, Moses, go on. <laughs> but Cherie, I really had a fear. When I went through a, um, a divorce, I got custody of my, my three sons. I was, af I was afraid. Because I was like, okay, I'm, I've, I've never been sports oriented. I never have been. But Lord, how am I going to raise boys and I don't even really know how to throw the ball at them. I just really didn't know. God, I, I, how, because I was, I, I really was, I was afraid. I, how can I really do this and raise my boys by myself and travel the country and do preaching and all of this? And, oh God. I was really afraid. I was afraid. I can't really catch the ball. I can't really, you know, do the basketball. I really, I was not very sports oriented. And so I was really afraid. But I thank God he gave me the strength. He increased my faith to say, Mosley, you can do this. And tonight, I pray that your faith has been increased. That you can do it. Whatever it is, you can do this. If you find yourself now in a divorce situation or you find yourself now all of a sudden in a jobless situation, God, what can I do? Am I going to lose my house? Am I? And I can tell you, that's been a fear of mine. What if I lose? I did. I lost. Foreclosed. I lost. But I gained so much more. Looking at me now, you would never know it. Because I had to regain my faith. Is this making sense? Sister Pam, is this making sense? Jeremiah, am I making sense to you? I've lost some things. I saw my car be pulled away, being repoled. I lost it. Had a nice Mercedes too. Had a phone built in it. I lost that. A custom SUV Suburban. I saw that thing pulled away. I had an Escalade. <laughs> I saw that thing. I saw them in the middle of the night. They came and picked up my Escalade. Oh, I, I was hurt. I was hurt. I lost. And I was afraid of losing again. 
but God. And I, I, I went through that test again and I, I got it. I'm doing good right now. I was afraid y'all are being embarrassed. Ooh, am I making sense y'all? I feel like I'm just talking. But am I am I helping anybody? Uh, Prophetess Pittman, let me be honest with you. I was afraid of what other preachers would say about me. I, I, I would. I was. I was so afraid they're going to laugh at me. Look at Mosley. A Bishop Mosley. Mm-hmm. He don't have that Escalade no more. Look at it. Look at that. You know that church Bishop Mosley was having church in? Child, he ain't there no more. They, they, and it, I know that was too much for them. See, these young preachers be taking all this stuff. They don't, they don't need to be doing that. And I really thought I was obeying God. I really did. But then you got folk that laugh at you. See, look at that. He ain't even in that building no more. He done lost all his members. And I, I was hurt. I was so hurt, y'all. <laughs> I was hurt and embarrassed. So I was afraid to try again. But I did. But I was afraid. What if I lose again? What if I, what, oh, thank you so much, Ramona. What if I lose? I don't want to lose again, God. I don't want to file for bankruptcy again. I don't want to do this again. But now, some things I went through, it was for the perfecting of my ministry. It was for the perfecting of my character. Because some things I went through had an ability to humble me down a little bit. I had to realize, no, you don't know it all, Mosley. See, if God would have let everything work out the way I was going, and if everything would have worked out, I would have lost my sense of sensitivity or compassion. Does that make sense? See, because I would have been here saying right now, tonight, I would have been saying, I don't see why y'all not getting this and why y'all not doing this. See, because I did it and it worked for me and this happened and I did this and, and I don't understand why you just, see, you, you don't, ooh, am I making sense to anybody? You won't get this type of anointing until you get some understanding. Now, I used to think some stuff they used to do in the old church, they don't make no sense, but now I understand. I had to go through some things. I had to lose some stuff. You see, if, but if I would have never lost it, I would have never gotten that lesson. I remember my mother, my sister's on here, but uh, I remember sometime she would wake up early in the morning on Sunday morning and she'd be making steak or something and she'd be, you know, get a knife and be hitting the steak, calling herself tenderizing it, you know, tenderizing it. And it makes so much noise. Well, that's what that, these trials did it helped to tenderize Michael Mosley. Am I anybody? Can you say that I'm a I'm 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 a bit more tender because I've been through divorce. Some people used to say, "Just pray, just work it out, just go ahead on." No, and 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 I look back, being honest, some things we could have worked it out, but it. I thank God I went through it because it made me tender. Does that make sense, Sister Pam? It made me tender. It made me tender. I raised my two children on with the help from the Lord. Will I ever marry? Well, let me ask you this. Let me say it this way. Because this is what he's saying to me. Ask yourself, can you ever be happy? See, it's not the marriage per se that you want. It's the happiness that you want. Some people are married, but they're not happy. They have somebody to eat with, sleep with, and all that other stuff with, but they're not happy. Choose happiness, which will bring about other things to you, including marriage. Focus on happiness. Now, I, I'm a bit more tender. That's why, you know, somebody just called me and said, Dr. Mosley, if it was the old me, I would have slapped the good God out of somebody something happened to them. But now, they said, you know, I'm a little bit wiser. <laughs> I'm a bit wiser. Yeah, I'm more tender after divorce, aren't you? And you know, you know, I, I understand. Some stuff I went through, but if I wouldn't have gone through it, 
Mm -mm. I would have been here right now judging everybody. You see, you must not be saved. You must. I'm being honest. Right. At, I would have been judging. No. Uh, uh, uh. You know, that's why I tell some people, no, don't be so quick to judge people with their living condition. Look at her. Shacking up with that man. No, don't be. I'm a little older now. <laughs> you know, some people, it's not the, what they want to do. It's their survival. I'm a bit tender. I, 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 I really, oh, I was like, because I was brought up in the Pentecostal church. No, you don't do that, honey. That's a sin. Mm -mm. You don't do that. That's a sin, too. Wearing them dresses like that and them pants. Is, <laughs> that's all sinful. Loose hair. But I thank God. Now, he tenderized me. He tenderized me. He And when you get tender more, the, my mother, after she would tenderize the meat, now she could really season it. And the purpose of the tenderization, if, I, if that's a word, is that the seasoning can get through the meat better. So the seasoning of God can get through me better because I've been tenderized. Does that make sense? Uh, uh, it, it, it's the only uh, out they can see. It's some uh, some of them. It's the only way they can see out of this situation. Some of us, we had to become tender. We were so judgmental. I'm not helping anybody because <laughs> that was me too. I was judgmental. I was. Now that was many years ago because I I really predominantly had an open minded ministry, and some people didn't like that. They didn't like that. They don't like. Mm -mm, they don't like that. We just so quick to say all oh, this is sin, all oh, that's the devil, and da 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 da. Okay, but I had to be more open to see for, and hear from God for myself. So He had to tenderize me. He had to stop making me afraid of other people's opinion. One day, a lady came to me uh, one time, Doctor Moses, should I get married again? Because this would be my fourth husband. I said, Well, baby, if you feel it in your spirit, go with it. But everybody, I said, stop it right there. I don't care what everybody else says. I said, if you feel it, ain't nobody else, in so many words, ain't nobody else laying down in your bed but you and that person. So you have to decide what is best for you. Don't worry about what everybody else, because people go going to have their opinions. Look at her. She couldn't get no man. Look at her. <laughs> so so they, go, they, they go laugh or talk about you either way it go. People are people. But God is talking to somebody right now. I want to pray against fear. Sister Pam, I want you to understand. Focus on being happy, okay? Well, you can get married, but I prefer, look a little bit deeper. Why do you want to get married? What is the purpose of you getting married? And when you do that, you'll say, okay, this is what I really want. I want comfort. I want companionship. You, you focus on the marriage, but let's focus on the effects of the marriage. Let's just say, I want to go uh, to Florida, okay? But I want to go to Florida, but I want to get on that plane. I want to get on the boat. I want to get on the train. No, no, no. You want to focus on what you ultimately want is I want to go to Florida. Why? Because I want to lay down on the sunny beaches of Florida. Focus on the purpose of why you want this. That's better. I want companionship. I want love. I want romance. Focus on those things. But if you go in focusing on marriage, it, it can deviate you. Um, it can deviate, uh, distract you from the real purpose. Some people just in love with the idea of being married. I got a ring. I got, okay, but you're not happy. So the ultimate goal is not the ring. The ultimate goal is happiness, companionship. All right? Did that make sense? Anybody that's having a fear, listen, would you plant an offering? Would you plant your offering on today? I, I thank you so very much. Plant your offering right now. Plant your seed offering. Plant that $66 or $88 or uh, I'll always ask for double digits. Would you plant that seed offering right now? There may be two people that really say, I feel like giving $100 tonight. Why don't you do that? I don't know why, but I feel like two people need to plant that $100 seed. I want you to do it right now. You may be led to give 11. You do that. But I want you to plant your seed. Now, is there anybody also that's asking prayer for or from a fear?
I want you, I want you to put your, put your prayer request right there. Pray, I want to be delivered from this fear of what is your fear? Just say what your fear is. I'm afraid of whatever. I'm afraid of being alone. I'm afraid of dying alone. What is your fear? I'm afraid of not being loved. I'm afraid that my children will forget about me. What is your fear? I'm afraid that, you know, people have never received me for who I am today. I'm afraid they'll always remember my past. You know, I was a, I lied or I cheated or I'm afraid that I'll never fall in love. What is your fear tonight? Anybody? Put your prayer request right there. Put what we can pray against. What is your fear? Because I believe God, and I was doing something today, and the Lord told me tonight, I want you to pray against fear. Because some people are giving up on their faith because of fear. They're dropping their faith because of fear. I'll never be able to do that. I'll never be able to live in that kind of community. I'll never be able to live in that type of home. I'll never be able to maintain all of my bills by myself. I'll never be able to go back and even correct my past. What is your fear? Sometimes you don't have to go back and correct it. Who says it was wrong? Maybe that was right for you to be in the position that you are right now. Maybe that, that issue kept you from having a big head. <laughs> Making you feel superior than others. Maybe that's why God allowed that problem to come. But don't allow it to cause you to throw away your faith, throw away your idea, throw away your love, throw away your passion. Come on, start your business. Start start getting your, uh, uh, your money. Start going for your house again. Let's start getting back into the word of God. Everybody may not believe like you, okay? Well, I'm afraid if I go to church, they don't believe. Well, get with some people that believe like, oh, they have plenty of religions and, and, and uh, uh, spirituality and all. You can get with the people that will believe like you. Uh, uh, you, you see, you're watching Dr. Mosley. Keep following me. You hear me? <laughs> Keep following me. I believe in you. I pray you believe in me. God believes in you. I want to tell you, you are powerful. You are great. Don't allow your fear to override your faith. Don't give up your faith. Don't throw your faith away. Pick it back up. Woo! I feel the Holy Ghost. Sister Pam, Pick it back up. So we're going to do this. I'm going to love. I'm going to enjoy loving. If it leads to marriage, wonderful. But right now, I'm just going to enjoy life. Let's go bowling. Let's go skating. Let's go have a barbecue. Let's do this. Let's share a, a nice cold glass of Coca-Cola. Let's do something and enjoy life. That should be somebody's goal right now. I'm going to enjoy life. I'm going to have fun because having fun is a sign of having faith. We got to continue to trust. Ooh, y'all, I'm getting happy. I'm getting happy. Oh, thank you, Sister Pam. You so kind. Keep believing. God is with you. You got to do it, everybody. That's why he allows some tests to come your way. That's probably why Jesus told him, go on ahead. Because he knew, you're not going to be here always. We even do that to our children. We do it. We, we, we do it to our children. We we give them a little responsibility. Now I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna go out tonight. Now y'all make sure y'all clean up the kitchen and and vacuum the floor and clean up your room by the time I get back. You know what you're doing. You're testing them so they'll know how to keep a house when you're there and when you're not there. Something's got allowed just to test you to see. All right now. How bad do you want this? How bad do you want to get your allowance? How bad do you want to go out on a date? Because you got to be, you got to show me you're responsible. How bad do you want to drive my car? I don't care about you having your license. How bad do you want to drive my car? <laughs> well, then you got to show me that you're responsible. You got to show me that you're not afraid. You got to show me that you're not easily intimidated. You got to show me your value. Listen, I pray that you were blessed on tonight. Anybody's asking for prayer, thank you for those of you that are planting your offering right now. Give your offering right now. Plant your seed. All right, the cash app is on the screen, the PayPal, or you can text the word increase to 40691. 
I really pray that you were blessed and we got to get rid of the spirit of fear. Anybody else that's asking for prayer? Anybody else that's asking for prayer? Put your prayer request right there in the comment section. God, I don't want to be afraid no more. The past is over. Did you do this? Well, yeah, maybe I did, maybe I didn't. What's it to you? <laughs> but you know what? I'm not going to let it stop me. Whether I did it or not. I'm going forward in God. He know what he has placed inside of me. I got to do this. Come on, Sister Pam. Come on, Sister Crabby. We got to do this, all right? Afraid not doing what God wants. Afraid of starting a business. Sharifa, I appreciate your honesty. Please understand this. You don't ever have to worry about not doing what God wants. What God really wants is for you to be happy. I know what you're saying, but I want to make sure I'm doing the, the right thing for God. Go by your heart. If it feels good for you, go with it. And can I tell you this? And this is what I hear from God. Beyond anything, God, <coughs> excuse me, I felt something coming on. Forgive me, y'all. God is looking at your intention. Did that make sense? God is looking at your intention. If you just have the right intention, God, I mean to do well. It may be a flop, but because you did this with your heart, God will prosper you. God will bless you, even if it all falls to pieces because you got out of that boat and started walking on the water. When it looked like you're drowning, God, Jesus will do the same thing. He'll extend his hand and he'll lift you back up and put you back on that boat. Don't worry about that. So now, I really want to tell you, go ahead on and start your business. Because you know why? You'll never be satisfied until you do. And it's a test. Just as he cannot do it, can I really do it? Yes, you can. Go it on. All right. God is with you. you. You got the best partner in town. Man, have you heard Jesus done partnered up with Sharifa? You serious? Yeah. Her and Jesus. I don't know how she got Jesus to be an investor in her company, but she got Jesus to be an investor. You lying. No, I ain't either, man. Can you hear the, can't you hear that news, uh, uh, Sharifa? Jesus is invested in it. Well, I, I asked him before, I asked him before she asked him, Jesus, I, I need, I need $10,000. <laughs> he said, now you got to believe in yourself. If you want me to invest in, you got to believe in yourself. All things are possible to him that believe. Ooh wee. <laughs> Does that make sense, Elizabeth? Yeah. You got the best partner in town. Girl, you better go for it. You better go. You hear me? Listen, I pray you were blessed, everybody. I really pray that you were blessed. Uh, listen, did you get a chance to plant your offering? Uh, you can uh, text the word increase to 40691. You can also call my office. Where is it? The number right up here. There it is. Up there. Right there somewhere. I'm trying to see it. <laughs> You can call my office. The, the cash app is on the screen. I really want you to be blessed, to follow the will of God. We are not going to be afraid anymore. Come on. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's go with God. All things are possible. You got it, Sister Pam. You can do this. As long as you got Jesus on your side, you can do it. All things are possible possible to him that believe. Let's make it happen, everybody. This is going to be a great weekend because I'm, I'm picking back up my faith. I'm picking back up my faith. I'm picking back up my dream, my idea, uh, 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 my goals. Oh, I'm, and you know what? Somebody, you going to sleep tonight dreaming. 
Ooh, we, I'm going to go back to Cancun. I'm going to go back to my ideas of a cruise. I know COVID-19 is here, but we go there. They're going to fix it. God's going to send an answer, and I'm getting back on that water. If not, I'm going to go find me a place on the beach and just go for the weekend. Go for a week. We go do this. I'm not going to let the fear of COVID-19 block me from living. I'm not going to let racial injustice block me from enjoying my life. Uh, Y'all better move out the way. Can I tell you this? Let's say it this way. You better move the hell out the way because baby, I'm coming through. <laughs> I'm coming through. Greater is he who is within me. Yeah, glory to God. Than he that is in the world. Y'all better back it up because Jeremiah, we coming through, y'all. Sister Rita, we coming through. Sister Pam, we coming through with our dreams, with our goals, and we're going to make God happier. We're going to make God. Sharifa, I'm t he's pleased with you. Just keep going. Don't draw back. Keep going. Add more to your dreams. Add more to your desires. Add more to your goals. We are going to keep on going. Knowing that God is great. And you know what? If God is great, that means we are great. Because he's in us. Oh, I wish I'd get a high five right there. God is with us. Right? We're going to do it. We're going to do it. You're going you to follow your dreams. You're going you to follow your goals. Come on. Uh, 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 Jeremiah, just hug that beautiful wife of yours and say, baby, let's do this. We're going for it. We probably got disappointed before. We were looking for a house and it didn't come through. But you know what? Hey, that's all right. It's all right. There are other homes out there that are better than that when we're going for it. I'm not going to let that disappointment block the rest of my life. Ooh, I felt that one too. Don't let one disappointment block the rest of your life. Go for it. Ooh, I feel that one. Can I write that over my notes? Don't let one disappointment block the rest of your life. Did you hear me? I come to tell you God is ready to bless you. God is ready to give you greater. He's able to do it and he wants to do it, everybody. I got to go hang in there. Stay encouraged. We're going to do it. Father, in the name of Jesus, we give you praise. We give you glory. We thank you that you're counting on us to do this. We thank you for coming to us on the water. You could have came to somebody else, but you came to us because you believe that we had what it took. We have what it takes. We have it. We have it within us to succeed above all else. Above all the fears, above all the hindrances, above every obstacle, we thank you now. And we say it's done. We are on your team. You are our partner. We are your partner. We're going to get it done, God. It is so in the name of Jesus. Give me three people real quickly that I can just say amen. Give me three that can say it real quickly. Amen. Amen. And amen. God bless you all, everybody. I love you dearly. Now let's go make it a great weekend. All right, let's make it a great weekend. Sharifa, let's do this. Y'all, I'd have gotten myself so happy. Let me calm down here. Let me calm down. It's done. It is completed. Woo! I feel victory. I feel victory. Just right where you are, I know we got to go. Just somebody just begin to tell the Lord, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the adoring. Thank you for the peace. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I feel the Holy Ghost, Brother Derek. Thank you, Jeremiah. Thank you, God. It is done. It is done. Your sister Tress, I'm praying for you. I am praying for you. God strengthen her body now in the name of Jesus. We are not throwing away our faith. Because of fear, we believe in you right now. Bless us to Evelyn. Bless us to Pam. In Jesus' name, we're going for it. I love you dearly, everybody. I'll talk to you real soon. Blessings, everybody. God bless your heart.